it's time for our special segment Midcap Mania with Nigel and the stock this time on his radar is a company which is a big player in the Darjeeling tea market. Nigel, take it away. Well, Rima, a couple of uh, reasons why I picked this stock. One is because, as you said, about uh, its exposure to Darjeeling, tea prices as well have been moving higher. But the other factor that I spotted out is that the total market capitalization today is at around 720 crores and its investment that it has in Tidewater Oil that equates to nearly around 600 crores. Remember, they have around 22.2% stake in the company. Now, uh, if you take a look at it in the last one week or so, we've heard so much of positive commentary on tea prices. You just mentioned about uh, Darjeeling tea. Even in the past, we've heard that the auctions in Siliguri, Kolkata auction as well, where tea prices have moved between 15 to around 20% higher. So that clearly is a positive sign as well. Now, moving on then, it has a dividend play as well. So Andrew Yule, as a company, it was in the BFR, BIFR. So on the back of that, there was no dividend that came out. But just take a look at what happened in the last year. They did an EPS of around 40 paise, and they paid dividend of around 10 paise. Because it's a government-held uh, company, going ahead as well, we can be optimistic that there can be dividend coming out. Effectively, that means they're paying out close to around 25% of their EPS. Even in terms of their stake that they have in Tidewater Oil, that, in fact, uh, in the last couple of years has been declaring close to around 300 to around 350 rupees on a per annum basis. You put those uh, numbers together. So that equates to nearly around 8 to around 9 crore rupees that the company receives via dividend from its holding in, uh, in Tidewater uh, Oil. Now, the revenue breakup as well should come up for you on the screen. Let's pull up the, the revenue breakup. It's not only into tea, but it's also forayed into electrical as well as engineering business. But make note of it that currently, as per the nine months ended, both these two businesses are giving you a negative uh, operating number. The positive is going ahead. It's moved out of the BIFR, so that is a positive. The management has indicated, I touched base with them uh, yesterday, and in fact, they indicated that they're looking to produce even green tea, so that could help realizations going ahead. And finally, the electrical business as well. Though currently it's not been making a profit, they're doubling capacity, so going ahead, the management is, con is optimistic that they can get more orders, and that can show profitability. The negatives... Uh, the couple of businesses that I mentioned, they are still loss-making. There could be equity dil dilution given that it's come out of the BIFR. And finally, T price up move, if it doesn't sustain, then in fact, that could be another, uh, another reason to be cautious on the stock. Back to you, Rima. Okay, Nigel, um, waiting for you to come back and join me 